Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to unwrap the face um, and uh, finish unwrapping the eyes also. So uh, what I can do because I have the rest of the body unwrapped as long as I can find the face in here. It's somewhere in here. I believe this is it. I'll go tools or actually I'm going to select the arrow key hold right and go to face and then I'm just going to highlight this entire thing here and then I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any, I'm going to press 5 mode, any, unselect, uh, any unwanted faces selected. So from here I'm going to from the front of the face hold spacebar UV camera based. Okay and then there's two spots that I want to uh, uh, seams that I would like to cut right away three actually one two three four spots all together I'm going to begin by selecting this edge loop around the interior of the eye this one also Ooh. and then I'll leave the ones in the nostrils there and then one for the interior of the mouth and I'm going to go on the inside of the lip select that edge loop and then on the back of the head I'm going to run a seam and I'm going to just check where my seam is here from this point directly up where is it? I just lost my spot for a second, there we go and then I'm going to run right up the back of the head until I get to I'll go a little bit further up um, be about here that seems like a good spot because this is basically where um, around this region is where my hair texture is going to start in um, and that's where I want my seam to be uh, some people run a seam up the sides also I'm not going to do that I think this should be uh, uh, good for this um, mesh. So I'm going to do a cut and then in here tools, move UV shell tool, we've been doing this the whole time, I'm going to run an unfold and your oh, zoom in just a bit too much face should have an open part around the mouth and an open part in the eyes and you'll see it sort of unwraps around this section here and that's exactly what we're looking for and again tools move UV shell tool I'm going to select this part and run a unfold and then just drag this off and I'm going to do the same thing unfold and then drag this one off and then for this part I actually typically um, what I do here is um, you can modeling in a tongue is totally optional but here we go I don't make it uh, a requirement for this because there is a whole lot going on and this particular uh, mesh and it looks like I actually have some uh, unmerged vertices. Um, one of the things, um, I'll cover this uh, 
what I did right now is I selected my camera, and you'll notice I'm getting some clip off, clipping. That's what it's called. And in your near clip plane, where it says point one zero zero, do one zero before that. Press enter, and it should fix that. So now I'm going to do it back into my vertex, and I'm just going to merge these vertices to center the ones that I need merged. Um, the oops, grab the wrong one. This is the gr uh, really great part about um, unwrapping is that you kind of catch some of your errors in your model. Okay. And that should do it. Now, um, going back into the unwrapping of the interior of the mouth, what I do is because there's a tongue typically on your mesh, I just run a cut right down the bottom part of it to the, uh, basically, I guess you could say the back of the throat, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going to run a cut, bring this back over here, and then tools, move UV shell tool, select it, and run in unfold, and it should have a nice clean little unfold happen there, and you'll see that it did work out pretty well. And now, just go ahead and sort of keeping everything together. I'll know that this is, that kind of looks like a finger actually. I'm going to keep this at the bottom here. And then just drag that up a little bit. All right. Now our entire mesh is almost unwrapped. I'm going to press shift I to unisolate. I'm going to select my eye. And this is something I said I would get back to later. And I'm going to go ahead and cover it now. So at the time I couldn't find the button because it's changed location. Um, what I'm going to do is with my eye highlighted, you'll notice I have the red er, uh, region around this part. That means it's uh, flipped and I don't want it to look like that. I'm going to do tools, move UV shell tool. I'm going to select this shell. And then I found the button in here under, uh, it's under the transform tab and flip is right here. And it just flips for you. Now, keeping this open, I'm going to go to my channel box and just make sure that you have these uh, freeze transformations on. Do the same thing for the other eye, freeze transformations. and that should zero out everything and keep scale X, Y, Z at one. And at this point, you can go ahead and flip everything that you need here. And tools, move UV shell tool, this one needs to be flipped. Flip. And actually, this one needs to be flipped and I'll just grab this one too all at the same time, flip them all and then I'll re-select this one and just run another flip so it doesn't do that. Um, as you notice it just kind of flipped everything at once in this case I wanted to do it that way but um, you see what I did there. I flipped the two ob all three objects first and then I re-flipped this one by itself uh, to keep everything in the same spot. Um, one thing I like to do, uh, particularly with the eyes, is I like to make the color section larger, even if the UV uh, checkerboards don't um, line up. And the reason is, is because um, this section actually, it really needs a lot of detail in order for it to look right. So you can go ahead and just grab this, and you can always also just double check to run an unfold and then just go ahead and I'm gonna scale it as large as I can in this region okay you could do the same thing with the pupil uh, this is just gonna be like a black so and then you can run an unfold 
um, because the eye needs uh, a lot of detail. Not so much, it, I mean, it needs detail in this region also, but the color itself really does require a lot of um, information. So I keep my eyes uh, on separate texture maps um, for that reason. Um, and then tools, move UV shell tool, and just run an unfold. And you can add it to the same texture map. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it like so. And maybe later I will. But um, we'll see how, uh, when we line everything up in the shell, if there's really enough room for it to give the the detail that it needs. Um, so for now we'll just keep it like so. Alright. And then you always just need to make sure that it's inside those lines. Okay. Now, I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to press 6 and everything looks pretty good on my uh, checkerboards. And I'm going to create a separate video here on how to bring everything together so that it's all on the same uh, UV map. Um, so that's unwrapping the face and uh, already unwrapped the eyes uh, when we were modeling the face. Um, so, or at least started to. Um, so if you have any questions, be sure to inbox me. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.